Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today I am randomizing only the bench players' overalls. The video I did before, I randomized every single player's overall, and it's doing really good. It's probably my best video yet, so I'm gonna capitalize on that. And basically, I'm going to change and randomize every bench player's overall because, you know, what if MB gets a 99 overall to play alongside him and Terry smacks it? I think that'd be pretty cool. You may be asking, how can I tell if they're the starting lineup? I literally just refresh it and whoever's up here I don't touch and everyone else I I just I play around with and uh yeah so it's literally just a win-win situation here I don't consider many of these to be an L right like Patrick Williams 77 overall if he goes down to like a 60 I don't think the Chicago Bulls are losing out on, on much but he could go to a 90 and now they're gaining a lot you know so the way I'm gonna do it is really simple I'm just gonna go on my phone type in random number generator and then just put the minimum number that it could give me is 40 and the max 99 and then just I'll see you guys once all the players overalls have been changed so the Philadelphia 76ers obviously starters were not touched Kelly Oubre jumps up to a 94 Kenyon Martin goes up to a 91 uh who else Jeff Dowden goes up to a 75 and then this is really about it for for the 76ers Milwaukee Bucks Gallinari might take Giannis' spot I'm not sure we'll have to see Brooke Lopez they had Bobby Porter starting but Brooke Lopez is probably taking that spot back now at the center position 85 overall Andre Jackson Jr 82 overall AJ Green 81 and uh this is really about it for for the Bucks Chicago Bulls they they, they got done dirty, I'm gonna be honest, they got done dirty. The biggest upgrade is Henry Jell, 81 overall. It's, Drummond goes down, and uh, honestly, that's just about it. Cleveland Cavaliers, um, we're gonna see a lot of two-way players climb up. I don't know what the hell the random number generator is doing, but a lot of two-way players just skyrocketed. We, as you guys can see, 89 overall. Georges Nyang, 84 overall. Um, Marcus Morris Sr. goes up to 77, and uh, honestly, that's about it. Boston Celtics got stacked and jacked. Luke Cornett is a 90 overall. He's going to be their starting center. Also, Peyton Pritchard, 94. He's going to be their starting point guard now. Sam Hauser goes up to an 86, and uh, Al Horford goes up to an 85. He's like prime-ish Atlanta Hawks Al Horford. And honestly, that's about it. It's like a it's like a 9 10 man rotation there the clippers have prime westbrook 96 overall mason plumley who's prime 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 mason plumley 95 that we've never seen xavier moon 93 overall terrence mann 93 so the team it, it got blessed we have highland over here 89 overall brandon boston 85 pj tucker 82 and uh pretty much about it memphis grizzlies they got they got some interesting pieces we have Mr. John over here, 98 overall. Derrick Rose, 92. Man, I'm going to be honest. Seeing Westbrook and Derrick Rose climb up overall, it's just, just put a smile on my face. Gigi Jackson's an 86. And uh, Jake LaRavia is an 85. Luke Kennard, 84. And I think that's about it. A lot of the players just went down. Atlanta Hawks got a new center. Bruno Fernando, 96. Kobe Bufkin, that's probably going to take Trey Young's spot in 96 overall. Dylan Windler, another two-way player in 90 overall. And uh, honestly, about it. It was just mainly those three three pieces that got got an upgrade miami heat we have alond I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name to be honest alone alone is williams 93 overall haywood highsmith again i think he climbed last time too he's a 91 overall now homie hawkwitz climbed up i think like four three to four overalls josh richardson went up to an 82 delon Wright 81 and uh that's about it. The Hornets got Dalvis Bertans to be a 92. JT Thor, 89 overall. They have uh, Vasily G. I can't. It's 84 overall. Marquise Bolden, 79. And honestly, honestly about it. Utah Jazz, Jordan Clarkson is just on his, you know. Kobe said, go, go to the rim like a dark skin. And that's exactly what he did. 95 overall. We have Omer, 95 overall too. We have Darius Baisley, 88 overall. And uh, Luka Samanic, 83 overall with uh, a two-way player, Johnny Juzong, Juzang, that went up a little bit. And Johns Collins went down from like an 81. Sacramento Kings, Mason Jones, two-way player, 96 overall. Kessler Edwards, 92 overall. Um, Kevin Herter, 89 overall. Jordan Ford, two-way player, 85 overall. And I think that's about it for the Kings. The New York Knicks, we have our first 99 overall appearance and it happens to have two of them alec burks and precious achua Dwayne washington jr two-way player 94 overall jericho sims 92 overall um isaiah hardenstein 88 yeah this team got stacked and jacked the, like a, there's a drastic drop off from 81 to, to 64 but when you get 299 overalls and 94 i think we know who the favorite is to win the championship the lakers get jillian hood shafino 94 overall torian prince 87 and um just a few players going up like max chris he goes up to an 82 and uh that's really about it or 
Orlando Magic, Trevlin Queen, two-way player, 98 overall. Jed Howard, 89. Um, that's about it. Joe Ingles goes up to like maybe his prime-ish Utah Jays, and that's really about it for the for the Magic. The Mavericks, they have uh, Alex Fudge, who is a two-way player, 97 overall. Brandon Williams, two-way player, 94 overall. Tim Hardaway Jr., 95 overall. Maxi Kleber, 90 overall. Dwight Powell, 85. Josh Green, 84. Marquise Morris, 80 overall. And uh, that's about it. Brooklyn Nets get a prime Ben Simmons, 87 overall. And Dorian Finney-Smith goes up to an 83. I think, I think that was honestly it. Denver Nuggets get Hunter Tyson, 92 overall. Peyton Watson, 85 overall. And a two-way player, Jay Huff, 83 overall. And then just some role players going up, like Christian Brown, 83. Justin Holiday, 79. And uh, honestly, about it for the Nuggets. Indiana Pacers, I'm sure you guys see the trend now. Quinn Jackson, the two-way player just skyrocketed straight to a 98 tj mcconnell 95 aaron neesmith 92 ben shepherd 81 and uh but i think benedict mathurin went up too um, I, I don't remember the pelicans jose alvarado 95 overall dyson daniels 92 overall and uh jeremiah robinson earl 87 overall jordan hawkins i think i think he was like a 75 or something he went down into 70 also herb jones 66 overall he, he went down from an 80 detroit pistons tosan evbuyo muan butchered his name it's okay 92 overall another two-way player jared roden 89 overall james wiseman goes up to an 83 which uh i don't think he's ever reached in 2k marcus sasser goes up to an 82 and uh i think isaiah stewart and quinn grimes climb up to a 77 I, I could be mistaken but i think so toronto raptors basically their two-way players went up dj Carden and muhammad muhammadu 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 guye Jill mcdaniels goes up to an indian overall and uh honestly about it oshay abaji also 81 overall houston rockets jock Lundell, 98 overall steven adams 98 overall Jer jermaine samuels jr two-way player 87 overall jeff green goes up to an 84 Tari Eason, 83. Jabari Smith, 81. Jason Tate, 80 overall. And uh, you guys are going to be surprised by this, but Jalen Green came off the bench because uh, according to Duque, they had Amen Thompson starting. So, uh, yeah. San Antonio Spurs, Raekwon Gray, 96 overall. Blake Wesley, fucking Wembenyama has a point guard now, 95 overall. Jamari Bouye, 91 overall. So a lot of two-way players, I swear every two-way player just climbed up, which I mean makes sense because they're like a 62 overall around. So it's basically only up for them. Charles Basie goes up to an 89. Julian Champagne goes up to an 87. And uh, honestly about it, Phoenix Suns, nothing really changed. I'm gonna be honest. Nasir Little goes up to an 87. Damon Lee, 82. And yeah, honestly, not much change for the Phoenix Suns. OKC has a sniper of a shooting guard now isaiah joe 98 overall gordon hayward goes up to an 83 so he's like his boston celtic ish days and uh some players go up like aaron wiggins 80 overall and i think honestly about it usman Dieng goes up to 77 minnesota timberwolves jane clark two-way player yet again 98 overall jordan mclaughlin 93 overall josh minute 89 overall tj warren goes up to his bubble in phoenix days or what was it phoenix no indiana his bubble indiana days 87 overall port and trailblazers we have our third 99 overall on our second team matisse Thybul, moses brown 94 delano banton 93 justin minaya minaya 92 overall two-way player ryan rupert 91 this team got stacked shaden sharp 90 overall anthony simons stayed the same tumani kamar goes up to an 84 robert williams goes up i think like one or two overalls chris murray i think climbed up 83 overall do up wreath 77 and malcolm brogdon climbs down climbs how, how you climb down de 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 climbs down golden state warriors brandon goes up to 97 moses moody 97 jerome robinson 92 and uh gary payton goes up to an 82 usman garuba 80 and honestly about it kevon looney 55 overall unfortunate to see last and not least the wizards anthony jill goes up to an 89 overall jordan Poole climbs again 87 overall johnny davis 86 Jer jared butler 86 and marvin bagley i think climbed up a little bit and honestly yeah uh, honestly about it okay just to make sure i want to put everything on auto because i'm not this is just a pure simulation i'm not taking control of anything we're gonna do we'll do three years like i did last time and uh, my my honestly my money's on the new york knicks i think the new york knicks are just they might just win 70 games just how crazy they are so year one i think we simulate to the trade deadline and see if any teams do any trades and i actually want to see the all-stars i want to see if any any interesting players make the all-star teams which probably will happen because there's a lot of new 99s or like 
89 overalls to the club. All-star captains have been announced. Let's see. So we have Team Alec and Team Nikola Jokic. And Alec, oh my god, it's Alec Burks. Okay, so any new all-stars? We have Moses Brown, Jordan Clarkson, Bruno Fernando, Jock Lindale. Westbrook made the all-star. Yeah, that makes sense. As for Team Alec, we have Precious, a first-time all-star starting. Matisse Steibel, Kobe Bufkin, Kelly Oubre, and Peyton Pritchard. Wow, okay, that's huge. I kind of want to see now what teams are good. Miami Heat are good. Who did they get? They got Haywood Highsmith. And honestly, about it. The Knicks, surprisingly enough, they're not number one out east with a 93, 99, 83, 99, 93, 87, 86. Followed by the Boston Celtics, who have a 94. Yeah, this thing got stacked too. 94 and a 90 overall on the team. And an 87. And an 85. Okay, yeah. The Hawks with Kobe Bufkin. 23 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. Very good efficiency. I want to see precious stats because he was a starter. 22 points, 8 rebounds, about 5 assists, a steal and a half, a block. Very good efficiency too. Oh my god, okay. Alec Burks, he was the captain. 24.7, about 10 rebounds, almost a triple double. Yeah, those are those are captain worthy worthy numbers for sure. Bottom of the east, we have the Brooklyn Nets. I guess Ben Simmons isn't he, he's kind of playing like shit for an 89 overall. I'm gonna be honest. About 11 and a half. Not even a double double for an 89 overall. It's quite quite embarrassing. Chicago Bulls, they got done dirty, but they're somehow better by a lot in comparison to the to the Brooklyn Nets. Magic. Jed Howard, how are you playing? 15.2, good efficiency. Yeah, but the team, I guess, I guess they didn't get that juicy compared to the other ones. Toronto Raptors, Jalen McDaniels, nah. I guess is that the tendencies matter too on players because they could be a 90 overall with a zero shot tendency and they just won't score. Milwaukee Bucks, Gallinari, he's playing okay, not bad. The Wizards with a very stacked team, Johnny Davis, 16 points, Jared Butler, about 18. Anthony Jill, eight and a half, seven rebounds, and uh, Jordan Poole off the bench, 25.8. Honestly, these are his usual numbers, so I don't think the overall really changed much. Maybe his defense, but yeah. Kelly Oubre, oh my god. 27.1, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, very good defense. Kelly Oubre is probably going to make an All-NBA team, like All-NBA 3rd or 2nd. Kenyon Martin, 92 overall, 14 points, decent efficiency as expected for, for a 90 overall. Out West, the Blazers, 43-6, and six. yeah. 25.3 for Donald O'Bannon, about 7 assists, 6 rebounds, amazing efficiency. Ryan Rupert, 20 points, he's probably going to win Rookie of the Year, unless unless Webinyama wins it over him. Matisse Thibel, you know, honestly, 14-7-7, seven, seven, not bad. He's shooting perfect from the free throw. How many has he taken? That's kind of impressive. 100 for 100, bro is 100 for 100. That's pretty impressive. Moses Brown, 22 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Honestly, the defense isn't there. The efficiency is not there either. Really, a 65% from the free throw is kind of kind of booty butt cheeks shane sharp off the bench 22 and a half yeah very good westbrook prime westbrook about 20 points the team stacked keep in mind 20 points eight rebounds eight and a half assists good efficiency you can't complain terrence man come on man mason Plumley, about about a double double we'll give him a double double denver nuggets had christian brown he's playing good playing good hunter tyson He's playing okay too. The Mavericks. The Mavericks were pretty stacked too. Tim Hardaway, 21 points. Maxi Kleber, he's just shooting it good. San Antonio Spurs had Blake Wesley, 18 and a half points. They had Julian, 14 and a half points. Charles Basie, 11 and a half points. The West is stacked. A lot of teams are almost positive or, or just, yeah, it's going to be a crazy playoffs for, for the West side. Warriors, Brandon, 19 points. Moses Brown. Moses Moody, 17, almost 20 points. Gary Payton, he's playing okay utah jazz jordan clarkson 27 points they had also darius Baisley 15.5 omer is he's playing okay the team is i would say it's underperforming pelicans too are kind of underperforming only a 25 and 24 record keep in mind the starters did not change they only got blessed with bench players holds alvarado's playing okay dyson daniels I, yeah you know what the team's already stacked so i mean it's, it's gonna happen i think zion might be coming off the bench honestly 25.8 maybe not okc thunder that's a surprise honestly that's a shocker because shay is always just yeah he's dummy crazy in 2k isaiah joe's playing really good too 17 point double double almost two steals a game almost a triple double eight and a half assists gordon hayward solid double digit points j-dubs good chet's playing good yeah the thunder is a shocker for real timberwolves jordan mclaughlin He's not playing that good. Josh Minnett playing really good. TJ Warren, 16 and a half. Pretty good. Houston Rockets. They had, uh, yeah, some big men going crazy. 19 points. Steven Adams, 13, 8.3 rebounds. I'm surprised they're not that good too because they have three centers that are, are really however on. Usually centers 
translate to dubs. Grizzlies, I want to take a look at Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, 18.3, four and a half rebounds for about five assists. Good efficiency, but yeah, okay, you know, that makes sense for them. The Lakers are not good. Jalen Hoshifino is playing really good. Max Christie, not that good. Torian Prince not that good either the team really didn't get an upgrade but they're, they're trying their best phoenix suns as expected they didn't really get an upgrade either the sacramento kings are the worst team out west 17.6 for kevin herter kessler edwards 12 points keegan murray nothing yeah the team the team here a lot of the teams that didn't get upgrades are just ass which is as expected award races we have delano banton and mvp conversations rookie of the year kobe buffkin wow <laughs> when Yama has competition six man of the year trey young yeah because kobe buffkin starting for him also derrick rose okay dpoy we have Matisse Thybul, Alex Caruso, Jose Alvarado, Weminyama, MIP, Isaiah Joe, Moses Moody, Matisse Thybul. Matisse Thybul is, is in a lot of places. Okay, so uh, we will sim to the trade deadline. We'll pass it, and I don't see if any trades happen, any juicy trades. Transaction reports, okay. Uh, we'll filter it by trades. No team made a trade. Why not? Don't tell me it still has it on so that I have to make the trades. Yeah, why, why are the trades manual? Oh my god, 2K really just sold the season. So at the end of the season, Lucas still manages to win MVP despite all the competition. Kobe Bufkin, Rookie of the Year, Trey Young, Six Man, Giannis DPOY, Isaiah Joe, MIP, and Chauncey Billups, Coach of the Year, 71 and 11. All NBA first, Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, Giannis, LeBron, Jokic. All NBA second, Shea, Isaiah Joe, Precious, Jimmy Butler, Joel Embiid. All NBA third, Alec Burks, Delano Bannon, Jason Tatum, Kelly Oubre, Sabonis. All defensive, Jose Alvarado, Ben Simmons, Giannis, Matisse Stiebel, Wembenyama. All NBA second, TJ McConnell, Shea, Alex Caruso, Kawhi, and Chet. All rookie first, Kobe Bufkin, Wembenyama, Brandon, Jalen Hoshifino, Ryan Rupert, Tosan. I'm just going to say Tosan, Jed Howard, Chet, Hunter Tyson, and Marcus Sasser for all rookie second. Playoffs, we have Milwaukee, Charlotte, Cleveland, and Indiana in the play in out west new orleans minnesota okc and utah similar to play in pelicans lose milwaukee bucks lose okc loses and the hornets lose the okc have been a huge disappointment i'm gonna be honest even with shade just on the team that's enough to to carry you to the playoffs similar to the first round we have the pacers losing the jazz losing philly losing denver losing san antonio losing the Blazers lose, Washington Wizards lose, and the Cavs lose. My money is on New York Knicks. If I was forced to sell my house or something or sell my car and put all my life savings, in, savings into the team, it would be the New York Knicks. Similar like to the round, Miami Heat lose, Atlanta Hawks lose, Dallas Mavericks lose, Golden State loses. Okay, yeah, they've, they've swept so far. I think they're the only team to swept, to sweep all their older opponents we have a 2-8 matchup here and a 1-2 matchup some late the round and the new york knicks lose okay so there goes all my life savings to they just they just gone versus the no no the, the clippers with westbrook that makes sense sim late the round and the celtics win in six congratulations to that stack team player retirements just your usual players i think some players actually didn't retire because they they progress in overall we're gonna go straight to player progression because we're just here to see progression honestly overalls and numbers and bead goes down kelly uber goes goes up Kenyon Martin goes up well because yeah their overalls got changed Giannis Lillard decreased a lot to an 86 oh boy oh boy that's not good Brooke Lopez despite getting like four three overalls just lost them all and more Chicago Bulls <laughs> the Chicago Bulls are gonna be a poverty franchise Jesus Christ Cavaliers are pretty good they're still very good Celtics, Peyton Pritchard, 96. Luke Cornett goes up. I think he was like a 90-ish, 90, I think. Derek White decreases a bit. Drew Holiday goes down a lot. Wow. 82 overall. Wow, that's 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 a lot. Kawhi and PG go down a lot. We have uh oh my god. I was in it. Where's Derek Rose? Okay, he's here, 89 overall. He went down a bit. Low key was like a 92 overall. He's down to uh, an 89. John goes up to a 99. I don't think he was a 99. I think it was like a 97. I could be mistaken though. Kobe Buffkin is a 98 now. Bruno Fernando 97. Dylan Windler 93. Um, I actually want to check one thing before. Free agency. I think a lot of players that are really good did not get a team because of the whole salary cap issue. Miami Heat. You know what? A lot of players just went up. Hornets, JT Thor, Davis Bertans, Lamelo. This team is going to be pretty good. I think they'll be pretty good next season. Same thing with the Jazz. They're they're also going to be very good. Jordan Clarkson, I think he went down like four overalls. He was a 97, I believe, or a 96. The Kings had uh, not really anyone significantly go down besides Buddy Heald and Harrison Barnes. The Knicks, Jalen Brunson regresses for some reason. Same thing with Julius Randle. I understand that. But they have their main core over here of 
90 why did you go down what's your 99 overall too lakers are getting worse because lebron and anthony davis are regressing magic magic are are good too a lot of the teams are good we have alex fudge and luca 99 overall luca is the like the natural 95 luca is the natural 99 overall he didn't take any trend ben simmons goes up to an 89 he played he played all right honestly not bad just yeah, you know, he kind of played bad. Denver Nuggets, Jamal Murray regressed. I don't understand with this regression shit. Why is Jamal Murray going down? He's 27. He's still very young. KCP goes down to 74. Oh, wow. Pacers, Miles Turner regresses. Don't ask me why. Siege McCollum regresses for the Pelicans. Pistons, no one regresses. The team's very young. Raptors, no one regressed either right team besides they signed kevin that doesn't even count rockets i don't think anyone regrets i would hope not fred van vliet you know that makes sense he's an 82 overall spurs woman yama is a natural 93 overall nice the sun just got worse they have nasir little 88 87 overall and everyone's just getting worse around him okc thunder shade does not go up he stays at a 96 and everyone else just kind of climbs a little bit tim rolls cat gobert go down mike conley goes down nick alexander walker i think he went down because i changed his overall so we'll ignore that blazers oh my god you forget how stacked they are they have a whole basically starting lineup or starting guards of just 90 overall warriors stephen curry goes down a bit and i assume Draymond green yep clay thompson is nowhere to be seen and lastly the wizards climbed up a lot i'm gonna do one more year this will be the last year just because i've been recording for like maybe two hours now it took me like about like 45 minutes to set up so i'm gonna change the sliders before i start simulating because i want the players to be signed i want them to to actually be on the team and, and be able to be used for their for their for their potential and for their overall free agents because yeah we have uh, a lot of free agents just literally chilling in free agency because they just they just want too much money i'll simulate two weeks in and i'll see who signs where i think that'd be pretty interesting to look at emmanuel quickly goes to the hawks the martyr rosen goes to the nuggets i want to see noticeable ones like james harden maybe uh, it depends how regressed how much he regressed lucas semantic goes to the lakers he was like a 90 overall so that's pretty huge actually torian prince was like an 87 overall he goes to the clippers tj warren he was like about like an 83 84 overall so that's good too isaiah Hardenstein, I think he was an 88 and he goes to Toronto. Tyrese Maxey goes to Orlando with the jam packed guard area. DJ Carden, I think he might have been like a high 80 overall, goes to Phoenix to help them out. Mason Plumey was a high overall too, goes to uh, San Antonio to help them out. Jordan McLarklin and Westbrook go to Indiana and Cleveland. Moses Brown goes to Philly. So, you know what? Instead, we'll just take a look at the team, team by team, and I'll just like see if I can spot anyone that, that I recognize that signed. Yeah, Westbrook 95. That's good. That's very good. Torian Prince 87 overall. Yep, goes to the Clippers. Lucas Semanic 86 overall. He's gonna help the Lakers out. The 86 overall is an 86 overall, man. Tyrese Maxey signs with them. He will be their maybe their starting sh point guard, shooting guard, one of the two. Gallinari plays for the for the Pistons now. 94 overall. Interesting. Yep, Isaiah Hardstein 89 overall plays for Toronto now. He is gonna be their starting center. Mason Plumley 92 overall. He's not gonna start. They're gonna have oh my god, they have a 93, 92, and a 90, 91 overall for centers. They they could win the championship. I'm gonna be honest, they're really good. And then DJ Carden, yeah, 92 overall. That's huge. He played really good too. That's really good for them. Alec Burke signs with the Timberwolves. Ooh, that is dangerous. That is real dangerous. They have a 99, a 98, and a 90 now with Anthony Edwards too. That's good. Okay, that's about it. So uh, we'll simulate to the All-Star break and uh, see who made the All-Star teams. Take a look at the standings and whatnot and, and player stats too. Award races as well. All-Star captains year two. Dwayne, I don't know who that is. It was it Dwayne Washington. Yeah, it is Dwayne Washington. So we have Westbrook making the team again. Alex Fudge first time. Kobe Bufkin, Raekwon Gray, Precious again. Bruno Fernando and Blake, Blake Wesley. Team Dwayne, we have obviously Dwayne, we have Kelly Oubre making it again, Isaiah Joel, Jock Lundell, Alec Burks, Moses Moody, Moses Brown, and Trevlin Queen. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Award races, Dwayne, oh my god. Wow, even last season he played really good. That's huge. That's what I didn't check last time. I didn't check player stats, so my apologies for that. We have all new players and then Luka Doncic over here. Luka, if Luka wins again, dude, he's just the goat of simulations, point blank, period. Rook of the years, these are all natty players. Nothing really changed with them. It's just they're natural. Six man Luca coming off the bench and he's in MVP conversations. Dallas, what are you guys doing out there? How is he in MVP conversations, but he's coming off your bench? Can I know? You have Brandon Williams starting and then Kyrie. Come on, man. There, there's no way. There's no way you have a 99 overall coming off your bench. There's just no way. I, I try to fix it and they, they still want him off the bench. You know what? You do you, man. You literally do you. DPOI with the same players about MIP. Wow. Triple double for Blake West wow very good efficiency too i remember josh giddy almost like 
averaged 30 rebounds or something like that on the other one I did. That was that was ridiculous. Okay, so we will take a look now at the standings. Portland, Portland's just killing it. Dallas Mavericks with a six-man Luka, Wembenyama, and the, the other two big men. Then we have the Kings bouncing back with Jordan Ford, Mason Jones. Good for you guys. I guess TJ Warren really helped. Yeah, 20 points. That's huge. Timberwolves with Alec Burks, 21 points, 7 rebounds. Good. The Grizzlies. How is Derrick Rose playing? He's for a 90 overall. Uh, I mean, he is old, 36, so we'll cut him some slack. And then the very bottom, Phoenix Suns. Yeah. DJ Thor, you're trying your best, but it's not going to work out. The Clippers, after losing Westbrook, very bad. They went from, what is it, the finals to second worst team in the West. OKC okay, too, man. Come on. Shea's averaging 30 again, and you guys are this bad. That's okay. Out East, we have Quinton Jackson with Tyrese and Siakam doing fairly well. New York Knicks, despite, I think, they lost one of their 99 overalls. No, they didn't. Well, they lost someone. Isaiah Harden said they lost, but they're, they're still killing it, too. Hawks are playing good. They have Kobe Bufkin. He's playing really good, too. Miami Heat. They've quietly been killing it too at the very bottom though chicago bulls 2 and 46 yeah they kind of just lost everyone they didn't gain anyone from the from the random number generator and they didn't they just lost a lot of people chris middleton though is their best player arguably right hornets i thought you guys were gonna be good you guys are pretty bad Toronto Raptors are pretty bad too. Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis just can't carry them with a bunch of 99 overalls blocking him. Brooklyn Nets. Okay, I I'm done checking that. We will take a look at player stats now. We'll take a look at league leaders. We have Donovan Mitchell leading the league, followed by Dwayne Washington, Shea, Delano Bannon, Kelly Oubre, who's playing really good. Did he make an all defensive team? I forget. No, but he made an no, okay, he made an all NBA team. That's what I predicted. He made an all NBA team. Okay, cool. Kid Cunningham, top 10. Jordan Clarkson's up there too. Giannis. Cool. Okay, very good. Um, we're gonna send to the end of the season, and uh, I don't know who's gonna win this one. Honestly, the Celtics are—they still kept their core, so they might—they might just win it all again, to be honest. Or the Mavericks. Seeing how I'm spectating them, they have a six-man 99 overall Luca. That's just insane. MVP. It's not Luca. If Luca won MVP in six-man, I would have been shocked. But Dwayne Washington wins MVP. Stefan Cassell wins Rookie of the Year. Luca wins six-man. Crazy numbers for for a six-man. Matisse Thybul. I think back-to-back -back DPOIs and Highland MIP. Chauncey Billups. One win less than last time 70 and 12 only be first honestly it's good to see westbrook there's dwayne washington too Giannis, kelly Oubre, and nikola Jokic. only be a second there's blake wesley brandon williams lebron lebron really i'm not saying I'm, I'm i'm like i'm surprised lebron made it i'm surprised lebron made it despite being like a bunch of crazy 90 overalls in the league now Alex Fudge, Joel Embiid, OMB third, Donovan Mitchell, Trevlin Queen, Matisse Stiebel, Precious, and Anthony Davis. All the fans first, we have Trevlin Queen, John, Matisse Stiebel, Giannis, Chet, Jose Alvarado, Brandon, Precious, Kawhi, Wambanyama. Overkey first, Stefan Cassell, Ron Holland, Isaiah Collier, Jared McCain, DJ Wagner. All rookie second, Justin Edwards, Stephen Webster, Donovan Klingen, Clyde Boner. <laughs> Sorry. And Aizen Almanza. Okay, playing. Ben Simmons. Carried the Nets to the plane, Orlando, and with Boston, Philly, we have Houston, New Orleans, Denver, and Golden State. Similar to play in. Rockets lose, Brooklyn loses, Pelicans lose, and Philly loses. The Celtics that I thought were gonna win. You know, I'm putting my money back on the New York. I'm gonna, I'm doubling down. First round, Pistons lose, Magic lose, Nuggets lose, Golden State loses, Memphis lose, Indiana loses, Atlanta Hawks loses. That's a shocker. Oh uh, no, they have, they have Donovan Mitchell. Never mind. Sacramento Kings lose. Okay, so New York sweep again. Good. Second round, we have Minnesota losing, Miami who lose, Dallas Mavericks lose, Boston Celtics lose. Yeah, I think it might be a San Antonio and New York finals. That's my prediction. Cleveland loses by a sweep, and the Spurs lose to a sweep too. Simulate this round, and it goes to a game seven. Congratulations to the New York Knicks. I doubled down and it paid off. Anyways, guys, this was me randomizing every single bench players overall, including the two-way players. As you guys saw, they just they went nuts. I do want to make this into a series where I randomize point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forward centers, starters only. So you guys get the point. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share to your great, 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 great grandmothers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, Malusas.